Gambia, my beloved Gambia, where is thy pride? Where is thy strength? Oh, how I remember the days when our traditions and customs were cherished above all other norms and social values. Gradually, you have allowed unknown creepers to invade the very core of your soul by embracing their strange philosophies, disrupting the ancient blueprints your ancestors have laid out for you. My heart cries when I see a fellow Gambian trying to outsmart another and then several thoughts begin flowing through my mind, causing me to wonder, and for a moment I begin to question myself. Where is the Gambia that believes in the Solegan that says Gambia Nyoko Boga? Is this not the same land that lays its foundation and pillars on the word togetherness? It saddens my heart when I look around. I see unemployment piercing through the circumference of my neighborhood. And golf with its ugly face on man's brotherhood and yet nothing is done concerning the wandering youth. My heart bleeds when I see my fellow Gambians abandoning their culture and adopting the foreign Jamaican culture. Promoting the use of cannabis and marijuana, which only serve as a menace to our youth. Giving them hopeless hopes on the journey to Babylon with no guarantee of any success. Realizing that their Babylonian dream is nothing but mere fantasies. They are obliged to live a meaningless life, full of stress and total distress. It pains my heart when I see my fellow youngsters use this as a mantra. Mandumade do cigarette white Thailand do. I ask myself, what's the difference? Why do my people choose to serve in such negativity, which absolutely yields to no productivity? Is this the lifestyle we should emulate and model for our young ones? Where are the days when our Gambian daughters and sisters used to promote modesty in their dress code, representing the true African beauty and morality without exposure what should only be kept unseen by her husband and husband alone? Oh, how I remember the days when greeting our elders was a prestige. Sadly, it's now becoming a burden upon the youth. Oh, what how shattered dress my children used to give to their parents. Today I see a child addressing his or her mother by her first name. Though showing no regards to them as guardians in order to attract the parental blessings that lays in thoughts. Born are the days when our young men and women take keen pleasure in learning about the customs and traditions of our land. Leaning on the knowledge they receive from the old. My heart is troubled for the generation to come when the present generation have less knowledge of their roots. What do we pass down to our children and children's children when we have abandoned our true identity? Oh, sweet memories, where are the days of my childhood when I used to wait earnestly for the dawning of dusk? To sit under the scintillating moonlight, listening and telling stories with my mates echoing. Lebo Lupe. Oh, sweet memories were the days when the offender apologizes to the offender, despite the fact of not being wrong. And the next thing I hear is Balalma. Absolute, this practice may seem but great impact have there on our social well being. My heart bleeds when we tend to turn a blind eye to what portrays who and what we are. Let us stretch our ancient landmass and embrace the beauty of what we have. Only then can we say we are truly natives of our motherland.